Hello everyone, I am Jadeep Singh Tehel and today with us we have something which I would say is personifying good Japanese SUVs. This one right here is this is this is where it all starts. This is the first first ones of the 100 series. This is a 100 series Land Cruiser. It has tons of names. It's called as you see, it's wearing a Lexus badge. It's called the LX470. Uh, it's also called the Cygnus. It's also referred to as the Land Cruiser. A lot of different names. But this vehicle, actually, this is a Japanese Toyota Cygnus. So the Lexus brand, uh, back then, it was non-existent in Japan. So for JDM, this is the Lexus equivalent uh, or a rebadged Lexus for the Japanese market. So this was sold as the Toyota Cygnus. Everything on this vehicle is same as a Lexus. Just the badging used to be Toyota. Uh, the steering wheel would have a Toyota emblem. And some of the parts, they would, they would bear a Toyota marking. Otherwise, it would say Cygnus. That's it. So this vehicle right here is a Cygnus. It's a 99 model 4-speed auto V8 4.7 petrol. So this, this, this is an untouched vehicle. It is still maintained as it came from the dealership and we have bought it from the first owner, the person who imported it. We bought it from him around three, four years back and was in pristine condition and we have tried to uh, give it equal or better upkeep and it has zero issues, zero flaws and is running beautifully. Uh, if you can come close, I will I'll, I'll take you through the stuff that matters. Uh, like the headlamps, everything is original. It still has the Toyota Cueto marking on that, on the headlamps. We used to have projector headlamps back in uh, 1999. This is the epitome of luxury SUVs, if, if you can say. This is, this, is, this is where it all ends. And in 99, for 1999, this vehicle was way ahead of its time. Way, way ahead of its time. There's zero mechanical issues on this vehicle. We have retained these wheels these are beautiful beautiful wheels that the american uh, spec vehicles also used to get they're a little dirty but the chrome is super clean it's just watermarks these little cups had to be sourced they were not there and we just changed the tires on this one after a full fluid change back then it's running 275 70 16 so this came with 16 inch wheels front and uh, rear both disc brakes and it came in a dual tone trim this is a flat black this is a very beautiful metallic gray your bumpers are finished in metallic gray and uh, rain visors of course very good looking rain visors we've tried not to play around a lot with the vehicle and uh, we've maintained it as it is only the big uh, side steps on this one used to come with a plastic covering and all we didn't really like them we took those off other than that, it's all kept as it came from the dealership. And around the back, so these were sold rebadged as the Lexus a lot because um, JDM Exports, as we all know, they're easy, they're well maintained and easy on the pocket as well. So this was the preferred vehicle for a lot of importers to bring in rebadge as a Lexus. All you needed was this, this and this and the front grille and you had a Lexus. That is what they used to do on the petrol ones. The diesel ones that we see, a lot of diesel ones with the Lexus badge, I'm sorry. But back in these days, back in the 100 series time, there was no diesel Lexus. So if it is a diesel, it's not a Lexus. It has to be a petrol. All the inline, inline 6 4.2 diesels running around with the Lexus badging, they are a complete rebadging, they are a complete kit. But this, the Cygnus, is very, very close or is the exact vehicle just with a different emblem. So, it's got a split tailgate, very beautiful split tailgate. We have privacy glasses in the back. So, you can see this right here says Cygnus. The material is amazing. It's, it's like a carpet finish and we've got privacy glasses inside and... So I'll close this first. So coming this side, uh, we've got privacy glass here. 
and privacy glass on this one as well and I'll, I'll quickly show you how neat the interior is the rear is like almost not used you can again see a lexus badging right there and the leather is still pristine it still has the original seat covers the, the original leather seat covers you can quickly just see inside and the flooring the carpets even the mats are still as they came from the factory not these rubber ones but the ones underneath are the original ones from the factory itself uh, i'll go around the other side you can so if you can see we've got privacy glass in the back so till here the rear door and the third row seats they got very nice privacy glasses and there's something very unique for 99 which i want to show you so if you can watch that rear glass so for ventilation it lifts out and closes electronically there's a switch for both the sides independently operated and it still works this vehicle had zero electronic issues when when we bought it both the seats are electronic if you can come around that side i'll quickly show you the interior as well so this car today is 24 years old and everything on this vehicle works including the the sunroof works perfectly uh, we didn't have a cooler in the middle and uh, we didn't get a cooler in the middle for this one otherwise it has everything that you could ask for in an interior the roof lining is as good as new it's beautiful and we've got an electronic dimming uh, center mirror even the wing mirrors are auto dimming at night and they've got a fold feature as well this thing for 24 years back in the day is a, is a big big deal now coming to one of the most interesting and the most important bits this is what we call a boat shifter this is this has a four speed auto transmission a lot of people have this question it's just a four speed is it good enough is it capable enough i think uh, we've got two rather we've got three vehicles with four speed autos we've got another land cruiser as well that's an inline six 4.2 auto that's again a four speed we've got this one my pajero is again a four speed auto and we are all planning on buying automatic jimneys which are again four speed autos these gearboxes are more than capable there is there is zero issues with buying any of these and i i don't i don't see where the where the problem lies and this is the high and low this is the uh, manual lever so this vehicle as you can see from the gear it is an all wheel drive it is an all time 4x4 the only option you have is switching over to a lower ratio and uh, that's about it the the cygnus this one did not come with front and rear differential lockers but we did get a central diff lock so this button right here is the central diff lock this will lock the middle from the transfer case and the power distribution for front and rear becomes 50 50. so it auto engages as well when you shift to low but you the company has given you an option of using it with the high as well the antenna works if you can see that is one of my most favorite uh, bits in old vehicles they've got lovely radio antennas so the antenna works and I, I would like you to focus on this bit right here this is or what was this was a touch screen back in 99 this vehicle came with a touch screen panel it's like a seven inch touch screen and uh, your ac and everything could also be operated from here so being a japanese import um, it had every all the controls are in japanese and over a period of time the the display has blacked out so there's two types of options we've got uh, an option of replacing this with a newer android head unit but that would take away the originality of this vehicle we are doing that in the diesel one we have because that's more of an off-road and overland prep this one we've kept fully stock so i'm trying to source a similar one from dubai or japan somehow like a used one if you can find and replace that and we want to keep it running in japanese itself so no teslas or anything going on in this one for sure and uh yes the most interesting bit i'll 
I'll show you what is under the hood. So this has the nicest looking bonnet under the bonnet area, I would say. So there you have it. This is a 4.7 2 UZ FE. I think this engine is there in tons and tons of vehicles. You've, you've seen all sorts of vehicles running the UZ family. There's one UZ, two UZ, and the three UZ as well. Very, very reliable, butter smooth. There's tons of power always. So I think some, something like this is what is required to run a vehicle this big. And other than that, it's pretty neat. We've got the AHC, the auto height control that works flawlessly. We had it serviced, we changed out, flushed out all the fluid. All the rubber parts in this car were replaced, all the bushes, all the suspension bushes, all the control arm bushes, everything was replaced. So mechanically, it's like a brand new vehicle. Uh, the belts have been changed, we've switched them out for new ones, all the filters have been changed. And now, this is, this is clear proof how you can have a daily driver, even after 20, this, this one has done almost 1,80,000 kilometers. So this shows how you can have a daily driver even after 23, 24 years of usage. And there's, there's, it's running without any issues at all. And apart from that, it had rails on the top. We took those off. It looks neater with, without the rails, without the steps. And we just love driving it. That's it. There, there's, there's nothing much to, you know, complain about in this vehicle. The, and there's one more thing that we'll cover very soon. Uh, we also have an LX500, the 2023, in the garage as well. Same vehicle, but 24 years apart. This is a 99, that's a 23 model. So we'll try to do a video covering both of them together. Uh, or just that, with the both in the same garage. So you can see how, how far things have come and how how, how the evolution has worked on these vehicles, but still they are both equally satisfying. So this, this vehicle sums up my love for Japanese SUVs and you know, all together. This, this is the reason, you know, you, you won't see a 23, 25 year old Jap, uh, German or any other SUV working, you know, trouble free after so many years. Whereas this is, this is operating and running just as it came from the dealership on day one. So, that's about it and I would say thank you so much.